This is a short overview of the ASTM A247 standard for graphic characterization in cast iron. I'm going to now load the image that we're going to be using as a sample. The image source is cited both in the description of this video as well as on our, uh, on our website in the recipe store where you can download both this image and the recipes uh, demonstrated here. So the two measurements we'll be discussing is the nodularity measurement and the number density or the number count um, measurement of nodularity. So I'm going to now load my nodularity recipe. <clears throat> when this recipe is first loaded, it's going to report three things. It's going to report the phase fraction for the total graphite. It's going to report the phase fraction of the nodules. And it's going to report an ASTM nodularity. All of these are reported as percentages. Uh, we know that this reads an area fraction, but that's just simply how it's set up. This ASTM nodularity is rather 78% nodularity. Uh, let's do a quick overview of the recipe itself, uh, and then uh, I will demonstrate the, the number count. <laughs> so the recipe is a pretty simple recipe, and all I'm doing here is uh, setting up some companion images uh, to, for the total area. Uh, this is uh, simply used uh, to uh, do the measurement for the face fraction. Uh, this graphite chapter, all it does, it, it goes in and it selects the graphite particles and it's able to do this by selecting all of the, uh, all the darker features in the image, doing some clever <clears throat> Uh, dilation, erosion, and feature cleanup to result in an accurate selection. Uh, and this last chapter is just set up for the measurement where we, uh, what we actually end up doing is in order to do an area fraction of a of a number count, um, we uh, just pick up the centroids of all the features and then use those to generate a percentage. Uh, so. Again, pretty uh, a pretty simple recipe. The, the logic that we're using here is not uh, too convoluted. Uh, we just do a simple selection and simple logic to generate the measurements we're interested in. I'm going to go ahead and regenerate these measurements so you can see again. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this recipe. Uh, I'm now going to load in my uh, nodule count recipe, which uh, the algorithm that's used to select uh, the nodules themselves is, is exactly the same as the previous one. It just generates a, a different measurement. Uh, what you can do is you can set up a single recipe that generates both of these measurements at the same time. Uh, I just decide to separate them uh, just so users can, kind of uh, can find what they're looking for. So very similar recipe, and all this reports is uh, a number of uh, nodules per uh, micron squared. <clears throat> Just a couple of notes about uh, the recipes and the measurements. Um, these recipes were optimized for a, a 1600 by 1200 pixel resolution image that's been uh, exported as a JPEG. Uh, if you find that running these recipes does not give you an accurate selection of, of your graphite, uh, let us know um, and we can help you adjust uh, your recipe to optimize it for, for how you interpret uh, the selection um, as well as you know all of the resources we have on our website and in our learning material uh, to help you make those adjustments. I uh, thank you for your time and I hope this was uh, useful.